Good morning, this is Erin Douglas reporting live for BBC Young Reporter. Our story today is about the school uniform rules at Bellarna High School and how they affect pupils and teachers. We are now going live to Lucy who is interviewing one of the school's modern languages teachers, Miss Ranson. Thanks Erin, here I am with Miss Ranson. How are you today? I'm very well, thank you. And you? Great, I'm good, thanks. Um, so I'm going to ask you some questions. How do you feel about the current uniform rules? Okay, the current uniform rules are that you should be wearing what is described as the uniform. I don't feel that they're enforced. They are enforced across the board. That basically, if, if the teachers are expected to, we should all do it, mm -hmm. or else there's no point in having the rules. Okay, okay. that's basically my opinion. Um, um, do you think uniform rules are important? Um, I'm not sure about that. If you have rules, I think it's important to enforce them, but if you are going to be more relaxed about school uniform, then it takes a lot of pressure out of the teachers that are trying to enforce the rules. Mm -hmm. So really, I think if you have a school uniform code, yes, the rules should be followed. Yeah, so do you think they should be enforced more? At the moment, I do. If we still have a school uniform policy, on the other hand, we may decide there are some schools that have a no school uniform and I know that I have had children who've had both. Um, it's really something the school has to decide as a whole, but once it's decided, it has to be consistent. Okay. Thank you for your time. Okay. Lucy is now interviewing one of the business teachers, Mr. Galloway, to find out his opinion on the uniform. Thanks, sir. How are you? Very well, thank you. How are you doing, Lucy? Good, thanks. Good. So why do you, why do you or do you not think uniform is important? Uh, I think uniform is really important in school because I think it's important that um, it allows people to be treated the same um, if they're all uh, dressed in the same uniform but I also think it's important to um, show the colours and uh, the identity of the school as well through wearing school uniform. Nice. And do you think they're effectively enforced in I do. I think they're uh, very effectively enforced. Uh, I think it's always important to make sure that we as teachers are checking up on uniform on a, on a very regular basis through uh, each teaching period to make sure that everybody is adhering to the school uniform policy. Okay. And do you enforce uniform in your own classes? Yes, I do. Yeah, I always like to try and make sure that those in my class are wearing uniform and if there's any gaps in that, then I like to make sure that um, I'm questioning why that is and um, see if there's a real reason behind why they're not wearing uniform to make sure that that is enforced. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. As Mr. McAllen said, our blazers are made out of recycled plastic bottles. Nine in ten teachers believe school uniform positively affects people's behaviour and three quarters of British pupils wear uniform. Earlier today, I interviewed the school's head teacher, Mr. McCallum, to gain his thoughts and opinions on the matter. I'm here with Mr. McCallum, the head teacher of Bellerna High School. How are you today? I'm very well, thanks. And yourself? Yeah, I'm quite good. good. So my first question is, what are the current uniform rules at Bellerna High School? Okay, so the policy we have in place is a school uniform for all pupils, um, and that is basically a white shirt, school tie. Uh, if you wish to wear a black jumper, that's completely optional. Um, we encourage pupils to wear a blazer. And as far as school uniform, not always easy in the weather's like this, and I know not everybody has a locker at the moment, but that's something that we're working on. Black trousers or a skirt, uh, and then black shoes. So really we're just looking for everybody to be smart and uh, look like they want to belong to the, the Bellarmo community. Yeah, so kind of leads into my question, second question, which is, why do you think uniform is important? Um, I think it's important, it's a sense of belonging, a sense that we're all the same, and um, hopefully it takes away any issues around wearing the right labels and uh, the right fashion items. Yeah. Uh, as an old man, that's maybe not something <laughs> I'm very aware of, but um, yeah, I think it's to try and take away any issues around wearing the right things um, from a fashion point of view and people, you know, home regardless of what your background is, that, you know, we can we can sure we help and support to make sure that young people are able to access the school uniform. That's really important to me that we make it in the company that supplies us blazers now as a, an eco company so the blazers are made from recycled plastic bottles yeah. um, and they come at a standard price right across the board. We'll try to get one that's also as um, cheap as we can possibly make it as well so that it's accessible for all and again we we'll hope to put supports in place if that's an issue for anyone. Yeah so some people might say that uniform takes away people's individuality so what's your opinion on this? Um, I'm, I'm not sure it takes away their individuality. I think um, as I walk around the school each day, you'll see people with their ties done in different ways. You'll see, um, you know, different different takes on, on the uniform at different points in young people's school careers. Um, you know, 
know, some of the gyms, for example, are wearing um, skirts uh, in first and second year, and then as they go through school, they're, you know, they're continuing to wear skirts and maybe changing to, to trousers. Mm -hmm. um, and I think young people are very good at uh, kind of individualising their, even the uniform within the context. So uh, for me, as long as they're here, they're smart and they follow the, what we try to keep a very simple policy. Um, then I'm quite happy with that. Yeah, and finally, who made the current uniform rules? So they were already in place. I became the head teacher in August 2016. Yeah. Um, so there was already pretty much the policy in place. I think the blazer had just been introduced a year or a couple of years before I came. Um, we have kind of adapted and amended that slightly in that um, the shoes, for example, were saying black shoes. Yeah. We're not being specific that they have to be um, from Clarks, for example, or you know, and a lot again, that's another way of that individualisation. That young people will wear um, completely black vans, for example. You know, and to me, if they're smart, then that's absolutely fine because it's, it's part of the uniform and it's about being comfortable throughout the school day as well. So, um, and part of that is also listening to the feedback from the young people. And obviously, we had a, a focus week on uniform last yeah, week, and it yeah. was fantastic to see everybody in their in their uniform. And it really, I think, the message it sends out to the people when they see you in the local community and any visitors we have into school is that you're, you're keen to be here and be part of, of Bolano High School. Yeah, thank you very much. Right. Lucy's found out a little bit more information about school uniform in Scotland. Why do you or do you not follow the school uniform rules? Um, I think I follow the school uniform rules because it's like easy and it's like just like the clothes I have just happen to be like allowed. What teachers enforce the school rules the most? I'd say like definitely like Miss Hasty, like mm -hmm. and like Miss Ranger and Miss Poppy. Yeah. Do you feel like uniform can affect people's individuality and why? Yeah, because I feel like sometimes like a lot of the time people's clothes like they let their clothes like show who they are and if they can't do that then they don't really know how to express themselves. Yeah, thank you. Why do you or do you not follow school uniform rules? Because it's so much more comfier. Um, what teachers enforce the school rules the most? Uh, most teachers. And do you feel like uniform can affect a people's individuality and why? Yes, because they don't express their like fashion self. Yeah. Thanks. Why do you or do you not follow school uniform rules? Um, I follow the school rules because my parents tell me to. What teachers enforce the school rules the most? Uh, probably Miss Ranson. Yeah. And do you feel like uniform can affect a people's individuality and why? Um, I think it can and we should be allowed to express ourselves more. So it would be good if we didn't have to wear school uniform. But also like brands and stuff, it can be like people might compare themselves. Yeah. So I think it's good to have. Thank you. School uniform. <laughs> why do you or do you not follow the school uniform rules? Um. I follow them because I feel like I have to, mm -hmm. but I don't really get it. Oh. Yeah. What teachers enforce the school rules the most? Probably like Miss Hasty. Yeah. Or and do you feel like uniform can affect people's individuality and why? Um, yeah, because some people like to express themselves through what they wear. Thank you. Why do you or do you not follow the school uniform rules? It's not getting to me. And what teachers enforce the school rules the most? Probably Miss Neil. And do you feel like uniform can affect a pupil's individuality and why? Uh, yes, because they are stopped from expressing themselves through the clothes they wear. Nice. Why do you or do you not follow the school uniform rules? Uh, because I believe it's kind of important. Yeah. Um, yeah. What teachers, in your opinion, enforce this uniform rules the most? Uh, not many of them. It's quite rare. No. Um, do you feel like the uniform can affect a pupil's individuality and why? Not really. I mean, your personality is separate from what you wear. It's not necessary. Thanks. Thank you. This graph shows a survey conducted today about whether teachers around the school support school uniform or not. We also did the same with 10 pupils. Here are the results. Okay. Thank you for listening. This has been BBC Young Reporter at the Lerner High School.